It's nearly time now. You have to hurry up and prepare, or you'll miss your chance. <laughs> this is no laughing matter now, is it? You're the one who summoned me, if you recall. But look at this splendid demon habitat. I can taste their malice in the air. These powerful towers reach to the heavens as if in defiance of the gods. This is unlike any Numa ever known in our kingdom. In the land of the rising sun. And can you use this energy to give form to your insect brood? That I cannot say. What do you think, my pretties? Hmm. They are eager. My hellish little children. Kill the human scum! <laughs> These birds are my childhood memories, falling from the sky like tears from a cheek. The heat of the harsh sun pressing into her white skin. What's wrong? Did you hurt your wing? You'll be okay. It's not your time yet. Now fly! Fly for me! That's right, my dearest friends. Oh, along with you, of course. Yes, I like it here very much. and sonnets. Perhaps, but I'd just get in the way with my wheelchair and all. <laughs> That's very knightly of you to offer. But I'm heavier than I look, you know. <laughs> well then, if I ever have some free time, I'll let you carry me. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have a doctor's appointment. They think I might recover eventually.
Keep in mind, Mr. Tiger, Diana is very ill. You must be gentle with her. Poor girl. She passed out from fright. Indeed. Doctors say she only has a year left to live. I would never joke about that. She's lost all hope, so her body isn't fighting the disease. She's accepted her death, so now she doesn't do much with her life. I thought it would help if we gave her something to hope for, but now you may have ruined it. I introduced you to because I thought you might give her some kind of hope. She goes on and on about you whenever we eat together. to hear it. I'm counting on you. A samurai always keeps his word, after all. Am I right? Good, good. Then get to work. <laughs> 